heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Let me press, uh, enter here so I don't actually get taken over by the, uh, the little intro we were shown just now. So as you may see, this is totally not, uh, Mega Pony, and this is absolutely not Kingdom Hearts. I'm pretty much not gonna explain myself anymore because, you know, my recording situation is wonky and crazy as hell. So I'm just gonna do whatever I can when I can, and I'm gonna do whatever I want. And right now, I am sort of obsessing, just like most of the rest of the internet, over Undertale. Now, this is if you've been living under a rock, but I guess mo some people won't know what it is, so I'm not gonna sit here and treat you like some sort of aminal that doesn't know good gaming. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to play good games and show you guys that they're good games, so you'll go out and buy them and support them and play good games, right? That's... It's a pretty accurate assumption of what I'm supposed to be doing here. But uh, Undertale is this quirky, and when I say quirky, you, like bold text underline quirky, right? Uh, when I say that, I really, really mean it because this is a strange game. And you'll see what I mean when we get into it because, as you know, I don't give away spoilers. I play the part of the stupid idiot who is just freshly playing the game perfectly because... As you probably have guessed, I have played the game myself. I know it almost inside and out, just so I can show you guys everything that I possibly can. Uh, but right now, I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to post a link in the description of probably all of these videos, or maybe at the last episode, uh, where you can find someone else's playthrough of the genocide route. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much as bad as it sounds. Saying it out loud just pretty much tells you exactly why I'm not going to be doing a genocide run. Uh, simply because I refuse to. I, as a gamer, I refuse to do the genocide run because I hate it. And you'll see why I hate it. And if you've played the game before and you're watching this because you love the game, you know why I'm not doing it. But yes, I'm going to find someone's good playthrough and I'm going to post it in the description so you can go at least uh, see the genocide ending. So you can, or the genocide ending, well, the genocide route in its entirety. Uh, if you're curious about it, if you want to see that, uh, I do want to make sure you guys get the fullness of this game. So I'll find that and put it in the description, whatever. But we're going to be doing the hardest run in the game, uh, which means we're going to be 110% passive. We're not going to do anything dangerous. Uh, and there's reasons for that, but, you know, we already set up my joystick and all this really left us to start the game, so... Without further ado, let's jump into this game, and I'm gonna show you guys why the internet is dying about it. So let's go. So we have to name the fallen human. Uh, hmm. There's a bunch of stuff you can actually name your human. Uh, also, I'm gonna get this out of the way right now while we're talking about it. This game has a lot to offer, and when I say it has a lot to offer, I mean if you if you fight a ball or if you, if something significant happens, like story-wise. Uh, and you had you saved previously before doing it. Uh, if you go through a cutscene with somebody, turn off the game without saving, go back to that previous save, and keep playing. The game has this little auto save feature where it doesn't save the game. However, the game remembers that you've done it, and you can get like these cool little uh, they're minorly changed cutscenes, kind of hinting that everybody is like. Hey, wait a minute, didn't I tell you this before? You know, kind of like it's a time-traveling quirk or whatever. Uh, so, th this game... This game will get to you. And there's a lot of cool things that we're going to be able to do, but... I can't do it all in one playthrough, and if we're gonna, if I'm going to be playing the Oblivious Idiot to help you guys get the fullness of the experience, we're basically going to be... I'm not going to tell you too much about the game until after the fact. So, like, if there's something that's unique about a boss or something, I won't kind of tell you until we, you know, beat the boss or whatever. Uh, but besides the fact, uh, we're not going to be able to go for all the cool little Easter eggs and junk all in one run, but I will have a video showing off uh, all the important ones, because a lot of it is just, like, flavor text, so I'm not going to be showing off everything. But uh, if it's in the game, I'm going to try and show it off. You know, you guys know exactly how I do these things, but, yeah, we're going to be naming ourselves... Uh, um, you know what? What am I going to name myself? I'm going to name myself Dan, because you know what? Why not? Uh, that's Da. That's not Dan. That is Dan. So without further ado, sorry, I might put an annotation to help you guys skip this, because I know it's going to go on for a little while. Uh, this is an RPG, too, so this whole episode, beginning episode, is going to be a little long. But 
it is a talky one too, so I gotta read as well. Wonderful. I hate reading, but I do love this game, so I'll do it just for you game and for you audience. Ladies and men, if you're into that. <laughs> so without further further ado, let's press X again. Is this name correct? Yes, let's get into the game. Va -va -va -voom. And here we are! Welcome to the world of Undertale. We start off laying on this patch of flowers. Uh, if you saw the thumbnail, this is exactly what the thumbnail is, laying on the grass. Uh, but yeah, this is this is just it. We're in a dreary, dark place, and it's kind of creepy looking. Uh, ooh, hello. You look pretty happy. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul. That is your very commu- uh, The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Bing! Oh, he's adorable. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. What the fuck? You idiot. Okay, I don't know if my mouse is in the uh, view there, but I think I set the whatever to not capture my mouse, but you know, whatever. We just got fucking bamboozled by a goddamn flower. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. <laughs> oh. Hey. The hell is that? Oh, well, there he goes. Bye-bye. <gasps> Hello. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Also, I don't know exactly how to pronounce some of these names, so if I say it wrong, please correct me nicely, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Okay, cool. Yeah, so now we have little goat mom. You're adorable. Well, I call her Goat Mom. She's not really our mother, clearly. We're human and she's a goat. But she kind of looks like a mom, right? I mean, I realize that's exactly what the Game Grumps are calling her, or the Steam Train Game Grumps are calling her. But you know what? That's exactly what she is. Look at her. That's fucking Goat Mom. The shadow of the ruins loom above, filling you with determination. What? The shadows? HP fully re blah, restored. So these little glowing stars are our save points. And when you talk to one, you are filled with determination. It heals you fully. And uh, you can save, so we're gonna do that. File saved. So let's go follow Goat Mom. I'm on my way, Goat Mom. Okay. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them ah, to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Boop, boop. Yay! I can't touch that. Alright, hello, what do you say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Well then. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Oh, well, I'm using a controller and it's press X, so... Stay on the path. No, make me. Well, well, I just got back on the path, so never mind. So, Goat Mom has told us which switches to press. She clearly points at them. Boop! Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay, Goat Mom, hold on. This switch doesn't even work. Great. Perfect. Thank you. 110%. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to prepare for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. 
Stall for time. I will come to the resolve. Well, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, so she told us we could talk to them and stall instead of actually fighting them, so. This is what we call the fighting screen. You encountered the dummy. So, once in a fighting screen, you have the option to fight, act, use an item, or give mercy. Uh, mercy, we can spare or flee, uh, but we can't do any of that right now. Items, you can use any items you have on hand, which we have none at the moment because we are fresh off the boat. We have nothing. We just started the game. Acting, you can talk to the dummy or check the dummy. Uh, and fighting, you can just hit it. But, I mean, in a pacifist run, we obviously do not want to hurt anything. Nothing. When I say do not hurt anything, I'm going to warn you now. Do not, under any circumstances, hurt anything in this game. But without further ado, let's keep going. Let's see. Check the dummy. Dummy attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dummy stands around absent-mindedly. Okay, well, uh, y you know, let's spare it. The dummy stands around absent-mindedly. Okay, so we, we have to actually talk to it. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Oh, uh, well, that's kind of shameful, but I mean, you know, whatever. Ah, very good. You are very good. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. A puzzle in this room, huh? Alright, let's find out where it is. Let's keep going. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Frog, it attacks you. Hey, okay, listen. So we can check it. Frog, it attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, and Toriel kind of scared it away. She did say she'd do that. You won, you earned zero experience and zero gold. Well, that sucks. Or zero, or zero EX. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. What? Wait, wait a minute, what? Oh. Okay, so yeah, I never actually noticed this before, but it actually makes sense. So if you see this right here, this is the puzzle. Uh, this is a pathway that doesn't really lead to anything over here, but if we come over here, you'll notice that there's spikes on the floor, and what that basically means is you have to follow the same path that was over there, but right here to stay safe. However, this puzzle, but, or this is a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. So you don't actually have to solve this puzzle, because Goat Mom is here looking out for us. Isn't she the best? Toriel, you are the best. However, this is kind of, uh, uh, how many, how many times have I said however? I don't know, I don't ever, I need to pay attention to what I say and not say things multiple times. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Alright, thanks Goat Mom. Uh, but yeah, that's actually kind of teaching you what to do for later, kind of, so, you know, pay attention. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh, wait, go, Mom, come back. No, go, Mom, I need you. Go, Mom, come back. You're my best friend. You're the only friend I have. There's monsters in here. There's a frog that wanted to... The, the, I don't know what the frog wanted from me, but he... It, life was hard for him, I guess. I mean, that's kind of shitty for him, but I mean, what about us? My life is tough, too. I'm a human down in the monster world. That's kind of shitty if you think about it. How old am I? I don't even know. Oh, hi, Goat Mom. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this ah, pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Okay, so I think if we sit here long enough, she might actually call us. So like, if there's some extra crap that we might show off that isn't really spoiler territory, I'm, I'll tell you guys about it. Uh, maybe if we wait here and she'll call us? I don't really want to wait here and see if she'll call us because I do want to move on with the game and get out of here, so you know what? Okay, never mind, we're not going to do it. We'll do it later. Ring, hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Okay, so she did tell us not to leave that room, but we left it anyway. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. 
I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay, so he's basically telling us how to fight also. Like I said, you don't want to kill anything in this game. Uh, you don't know it yet, but everything... You'll, you'll just have to see. We'll, we'll keep playing. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored, and we can save again. Oh, and we're in a fight. So, Whimsome has appro uh, approached meekly. So, these enemies are actually very timid. You can spare them right off the bat. However, that will not result in you getting anything out of it. Uh, you have to terrorize them. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Whimsome freaks out. I can't handle this. Okay, so then... He, when they attack, they don't actually aim for you because they're freaking out. Uh, is hyperventilating spare. Yay! So if you terrorize it first and then spare it, you actually get some gold for defeating it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, most of the monsters, if not all of them, I do know how to uh, face them because obviously you need to know how to do that for the game. Uh, this isn't really a puzzle. You just fall through the floor and come out the other side. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Mmm... Think I'd prefer butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Alright, thanks. Oh. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Oh, well, that's nice. But we do have a cell phone. We can call her back, so... This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello! I hope that suffices, hee <laughs> hee. And she's adorable. We can keep calling her. If you keep using your cell phone, sometimes they have different dialogue. Keep using it until they uh, keep repeating themselves. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? Click. Alright, let's try it again. Say hello. This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with the fist of iron. Can you do that for me? Click. Alright, cool. Say hello. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. Click. And that's the last line of that. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. I don't know if she says anything after that. No, she does not. Okay. Uh, call her mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Click. And for the final option, the... <laughs> right after we called her mother, we're gonna flirt with her. Beep. Huh? Oh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than old than an old woman like me. Click. Flirt again. Oh dear. Are you serious? And after you said you want to call me mother, you are an interesting child. Click. I wonder if we can do it again. No, we can't. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. Okay, no, she says the same thing. Uh, you can also skip dialogue by pressing the X button, I think is what it is, by default. Uh, it's the cancel button. If you press cancel, the dialogue doesn't scroll. It skips to the end of it, so you can press X to quickly grow through it. That's for subsequent playthroughs, though, but... The three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Ah, well, would you look at that. Oh, and a boss fight again, or a battle, rather. So, again, use Terrorize. I can't handle this. It's going to avoid you. Um, I'll probably cut out any fights that aren't with... Like, if it's a new fight, I'll show it off, because obviously you have to know how to fight the enemy, and I want to show off all the dialogue we can possibly get. Uh, actually, you know what? Check it. This monster is too sensitive to fight. I'm sorry. So, uh, make sure you check all the monsters, because it does have some funny things to say, usually. Uh, if you console them, they actually run away, so let's show that off. Halfway through your first word, Whimsom bursts into tears and runs away. You won! Oh no, you st Oh no, I got gold because I already, uh, I terrorized him first, but yes, there you go. I'll try to show off all the options, hopefully, without getting myself killed. But, this puzzle is actually pretty easy. 
but I'll show off the solution anyway. It's just like we did before, if you fall down here, you'll see the solution to the puzzle. Oh, and we got into a fight, so that's great. And it's just this. Okie dokie then. Please don't step on the leaves. So yes, that's basically telling us how to solve the puzzle. So we go back upstairs, I don't know why we come through little vent. And then you basically just follow where it said, so, you know. Oh crap, I was too far away. Whoops, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. Usually I don't fuck that puzzle up, like I did the first time, clearly, because, you know, you're not... Oh, uh, good! Okay, wait, there's another one. Uh, Moltsmo is blocking the way, so this is a slime. Right off the bat, you can spare him, but you don't get money, just like before. Attack 6, defense 0, stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Sexy wiggle. And then he just kind of, you know, does this. This is his attack. Uh, the entire game is played like this. When you're, when the enemy attacks, you play the dodge game. Uh, so it's not definite that the enemy will hit you, uh, depending on the enemy, you know, because this game is really quirky. But basically, you just dodge all the bullets that you can, and you won't take damage. But it's it's about reflexes, not RPG elements. So there you go. The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Gross. Okay, so you're supposed to imitate it. You lie down and mobile with blah blah blah. <laughs> Wait, mold small? Is that what it is? Mold small? You feel like you understand the world a little better. Sexy wiggle. And he's gonna do the attack again, so we have to go through with this. Whoop! Oh, that was so close. Okay, so now we can spare him. You won, you earned one gold. Wow, that's extravagant, let me tell you. Okay, so avoid that. Go close. Do not touch the leaves, because that's where it ends. And Viola, we have made it. One. Ah, oh, good. Okie dokie then. Push the rock. Boop. And push the rock. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Yeah, okay, talking rock, but that wasn't enough. You need to move a little more. Hmm? You want me to move more? All right, how's this? Ah, uh, yeah, rock. Rock, you did, I need you to move onto the rock. I need you to move onto the panel. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, yeah, you did it. Thank you. Was that helpful? Yes, it was. Why, thank you for that. You son of a bitch. You just tried to murder me. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. All right, are you going to move this time? Aren't things easier when you just ask? I hope so. You... I'm fucking watching you, man. Okay. And a boss fight again, or a fight, it's not a boss fight. Oh, there's three of them. Okie dokie then, that was a fun. Ooh, hello. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It stuck to the table. Well, that's good. What's in here? <gasps> oh, there's a little mousey in there and it squeaks, but we can't save and we will be doing so. Oh crap, I didn't, I didn't read it. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Save. Hooray! Determination everywhere. Uh, uh okay, I, I guess I have to address the elephant in the room. Sir, why are you laying in the middle of this this place, Mr. Ghost, sir? You know, there's better places to take a nap. Zzz. Are they gone yet? Zzz. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Uh, you'd assume we need to say no, but we actually have to move it by force. There's no other way to go around it, so... Okie doke, so unfortunately every time we get into a boss fight I'm gonna let you listen to the music because every boss theme for each character is unique to them and it's really fantastic and all the music in this game is really good and I'd love for you to hear it so I'm gonna shut up for a good couple of seconds at the beginning of each boss fight but here comes Napstabluk. So yes, let's go check out Napstabluk. Napstabluk, attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Okay. So this is Naps the Blue's attack. He cries, and you just have to dodge it. It's wishing they weren't here. No. 
Uh, so with Naps of Luke, you have Flirt, Threat, and Cheer. Uh, let's do Flirt first. I'm just, w I'll just wear you down. Really not up, <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. So Naps of Luke is uh, pretending to sleep. He's kind of a, a Debbie Downer. He clearly, he j he refused to attack me that round. Like, are you serious? Threat. You give Naps the Luke a cruel look. Go ahead, do it. Oh no, no. Oh god, wait, no, no, no. I know what this is. Huh? Oh god, you cheating butthole. Naps the Luke is wishing they weren't here. So of course, the real thing we need to do is cheer. You gave Naps the Luke a patient smile. Heh. And that's actually the correct thing for us to do. But for right now, we need to keep doing it and hopefully not get hit by his whatever that is. You told Naps of Luke a little joke. Heh <laughs> heh. And he's gonna. Oh, quit doing the worm thing, dude. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Well, it's not gonna kill me, but it's gonna do a good chunk of damage. Cheering seems to have improved Naps of Luke's mood again. Alright, let's cheer again. Naps of Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it the Dapper Bluke. Oh, you look adorable. Do you like it? Of course I like it. It's a nice little hat. Naps the Bluke eagerly awaits your response. Um, uh, cheer. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, Naps the Bluke. It was fun, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Ooh, what the heck is this? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to the real spiders. Well, I fucking hate spiders, but I mean, I guess in the world of monsters, spiders can't be all that bad, right? Leave 7G in the web? Yeah. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh, good. We have a donut now. Let's uh see the info. Spider donut heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. That's pretty sweet. So it's a healing item. Well, that's nice. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food by spiders, for spiders, up spiders. Ew. That means the donut's filled with spiders. All right, so we're not gonna eat that. Not at all. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have full screen, but what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least, ribbit. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now that monsters wear uh, that a now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful or it's bad. Okay, so I'm gonna just let you know on a little secret here. If you say it's bad, he actually makes the game more quote unquote difficult by taking away the yellow name tag of any monster who you can spare. However, if you choose to talk to him again and tell him to activate it again, he'll turn it pink. So you can turn it back on, but it won't be yellow, it'll be pink. But if you say very helpful, he'll keep it on. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name is in yellow. Yep, yep, so he's giving us hints. So what? Uh, there's an ant-sized frog and a crack in the wall. It waves at you. Aw, hello, Mr. Froggy. Well, that's nice. Oh, and a boss fight. Or, God, why do I keep calling it a fight? Okay, so the looks drew near. So this is the Lukes. He's an eye demon thing. Let's check on him. Attack six, defense six. Don't pick on him. Family night. The uh, family name. Eye Walker. Please don't pick on me. Okay. So this is his attack style. Uh, s most monsters have multiple attack styles, so don't get used to one because they may pull another one out of their butt. He said, "Don't pick on him." So let's pick on him. You rude little snipe. Okay, well that didn't help. Oh, it made the attack pattern worse. Ooh, I could have died there. Okay, so... Ooh, I don't want to do this. Let's, uh, let's don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. If I die here, I will die. This will be the end of... Me. And that's what happens when you die. Game over. So I didn't mean to... I didn't know picking on him would actually make him worse. So, yeah, you have to be careful with your choices. Uh, you have to make... Try to make the right choices right off the bat. I'm doing this to show off most of the, like, the dialogue that you can get. But, you know, sometimes it's dangerous to not do the right thing. So, you've been warned. You cannot get up just yet, Dan. Stay determined. And after you die, you are reset back to your last save point. However, uh, dying doesn't always, uh, 
mean that it goes back to the save. Like I said, the game has this autosave system where it pretends like you're going back in time, so. Alright. Ghost keeps saying Z. Move it with force. Yes, okay, so we have to do this boss fight, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, and I'm back after that fight, but uh, I had to go buy a donut again. But we're not eating that donut because there's spiders in it. However, this is all the time we have for this episode. This was kind of a long one. Like I said, it was going to be kind of long. And we're not even out of the tutorial yet, so we've still got a plenty of a game to go. So that's all the time we have for this one. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Undertale. Later days, everybody.